any other profession of. However, it's so important to crystallize in your mind your why, as to why are you doing this. This is the one thing that will sustain you throughout all the times you are wondering as to why, whether there's a delay in the process, whether there are hiccups. I'm going to ask you to stay tuned till the end so we can crystallize your why and go through the different options as to why could it be that you wanted to come over. Stay tuned as we go through the rest of the video. cannot overemphasize enough the importance of knowing thy why. Know thy why. Why is it so important? Excuse the pun. Why is it so important that you know your why? I'll tell you why. Because this is such a, it can be, it can be such a lengthy process that requires of you to have so much of an input Whilst I come here and tell you who is recruiting, who is looking for what, the majority of the job lies in your hands. I am getting a lot of um, requests that I say, oh, please help me to apply for this position. Please help me to do this. Even if I do that, you still have a bulk of the work to do. So it's so important in these early stages that you crystallize it in your mind and know your why, because this is the one thing that will carry you through all the different stages of this process, the good ones, the bad ones, the tough ones, the challenging ones, the rewarding ones. Your why will see you through all the clouds, the storms, the sunrise, the rain, the sunshine, and so much more of this process. So from the onset, I'm trying to say to you, know your why. Do not just be drawn by the flock and by the energy, by the noise, that this is the in thing, this is trending, and you want to be part of the noise. Know exactly what your why is. For me, coming over to the UK, my why was to fast track my financial goals whilst I was in a reasonably comfortable job. I was living an okay life by the standards of many. I did find an opportunity, I did identify it as an opportunity that could help me to fast track some of my personal and financial goals. So when I had to go through the process, um, I feel I had the patience and the understanding to execute each and every document that was sent back to me timelessly. I just never allowed myself to sit with the document longer than I was supposed to. And that kind of helped the process so quickly because I kept on reminding myself why I was doing this. And I knew from the beginning it wasn't going to be an overnight process that's going to be to happen like this. I knew that it would involve gradual steps, especially if you understand the process. It does help you to be patient. It does help you to work with the system and to not fall prey to somebody who's promising to fast track your process for you by taking shortcuts and by ending up taking your money in the process. So your why has never been more important. So here you are wanting to come over to the UK to work as a healthcare assistant or as a nurse or as any other category for that matter. Why is it important to know your why? Your why will see you through those days when you feel the process is slagging behind. Your why will help you get through those days when you feel like no one is responding to you. Your why will help you get through those days when you feel that you've sent a dozen CVs and you've not had a response. When you know why you're doing this, you will not give up. When you know why you want to come over to the UK to work as a healthcare assistant or as a nurse, you will push on, you will press on, you will not give up just because you've not had a response from five CVs that you sent out. Your why will help you get through those grey, dim, dark days. Even if you are already 
once in the UK. It is your why that is going to get you through some of the grimmest of days. Whilst this is so exciting, like everything in life, it has its good, its, its good side and its bad side. So it is only nothing, nothing but your why that will carry you through such days. It is your why that is going to help you to find a way to fit in, to belong when you feel as though you are being treated like an outcast or when you feel as though you do not belong because perhaps your work colleagues are not as diverse or perhaps there's a lack of diversity within your workplace or perhaps there is, but it just does not resonate with you. What will carry you th through such days? What will accept your why? If you have a very good reason why you are doing this, why you have landed in that situation, it will not be a big deal. You will just have to constantly have to remind yourself why are you in that situation? This will not be an opportunity for you to pack your bags and go back to where you came from. However, it will be an opportunity for you to build new bridges, new friendships, because you know the reason why you want to work in the UK as a healthcare worker, as a nurse, or as any other category you would have arrived in the UK as. And can I just remind you, it is your why that is going to help you to come and work in the UK as a healthcare assistant, as a nurse, or as any other category. And it will help you to go through those dark days in the UK, the rainy days, the stormy days, the snowy days. I don't know what background you're going to be coming from, but there is definitely a cultural shock. There is definitely a climate shock. There are so many different shocks. I will cover this extensively in another video. But prepare yourself. Remind yourself as to why you are doing this. List all your reasons as to why you are wanting to work in the UK as a healthcare assistant, as a nurse, or as any other category. Crystallize in your mind your own why. No one else has got to tell you this. You know why you want to come. And lastly, why have most or some of the people at least come to the UK to work as healthcare assistants, not even so much uh, healthcare assistants, mostly as nursing, um, as nurses, because the healthcare assistant role is fairly new. As nurses, as doctors, as senior carers, or as any other category. The reasons often given from people I've spoken to, some of them are my own reasons, as I've told you earlier. The reasons are usually uh, for financial benefit, number one, because at this, at this stage, many people don't understand uh, the other benefits, such as the visa, the settlement uh, rights. That is probably the last thing on your mind um, when you apply for many people. So the fact that from the financial benefits, people are able to fulfill a lot of their um, requirements, a lot of their wishes, a lot of their needs um, much, much quicker than they would do if they were to remain in their home countries. The other reason cited is the one I've just talked about of you find that some people actually do not even have such a great financial need, but they understand the value of being in the UK for a period of about five years continuously so they can qualify for this settlement visa, which is the permanent residence visa, which then can lead to citizenship for those who wish to remain there. Some people have come to further their studies as they work as these categories I have mentioned. Some people just come to study. Some just come for tourism. Not everyone is seeking to make money and not everyone is looking for settlement. Some people just want to explore Europe. Some people just want to travel up to other countries. And the UK seems to be a great place to connect to all these places. It's quite central and travel is also quite affordable and cost effective from the UK. So the reasons are numerous. There are many. 
the point would be for you to know your why so it can anchor you in times of challenges, in times of happiness, in times of good times, in times of bad times, your why will remind you. And more than anything, I think it will anchor you, as I'm saying, and give you a stable base and something to hold on to through the trials and tribulations. Mostly, hopefully, I'm hoping through the good times um, that your journey will be filled with more good times and trials and tribulations. But I'm by no means suggesting it's a bed of roses. There are challenges, but not... Um, ones that cannot be overcome the majority of the times, especially with channels such as On the Cusp with Daphne for people who've walked this journey like myself. And I'm hoping I can help you circumvent some of the pitfalls that I've had fallen into. And based on that, I'm hoping, based on my experience, my lived experiences and my experience overall, I am hoping I can make your journey from beginning to end much more pleasant than it would have been without you being on this channel. So remain on the cusp with Daphne. Continue to participate. I look forward to your meaningful engagements on the comments. Kindly share my videos, subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. Thank you for staying subscribed. Thank you for staying tuned. See you on the next one. I leave you with a video where I state the benefits of being in the UK. Just so you are fully enlightened as to what are the benefits of coming to the UK on this visa. Thank you for staying tuned. See you on the next one.